Hello, everybody. This is the one and only Mr. LP, Stephen Sykes of Live and Global Media. And we are here in Chesapeake, Virginia. And we're here at the Warriors game, basketball game here, uh, June 2nd, uh, 2018. And we're here with the man in charge who has all the money and all the power to say so. I'm here with Mr. McLeod, the general manager. How are you doing today? Very well, sir. Thank you for having me. Thank you, sir. So how does it feel to be the general manager of this team? Uh, honestly, when they first asked me about it, I was kind of nervous at first because all I did was coach before, <laughs> but I, I really embraced it and I'm learning a lot and I, I love my job. How does it feel that, you know, it always helps to have a good opportunity to when you have some other background to bring to the experience. What level of the coaching experience that you brought into the general manager and, and help you also maybe relate that information back to the current coach? Uh, for the most part, I coached kids, but there was about three years where I coached a previous semi-pro team. So I just brought that experience with me, and plus the owner and the COO, they helped me a lot to let me learn and understand it, what it, my whole job is. What's some of the challenges that you faced that you didn't think that you would have to, but now that you're going through, what's some of the challenges, that, uh, this being your first year, um, how, what's some of the challenges you face now that you didn't think you were going to see? Uh, logistics, getting all the players together for like the away games. Because you know a lot of the team have to work as well and trying to get them and their schedules to fit in with ours. Yeah, so it's very hard with logistics, family, travel, all those type of things. Uh, how many nights of sleep you don't get? <laughs> Sir, I sleep every night. <laughs> no problem. So you say you've been coaching. How long have you been coaching? I coached for 20 years. I actually retired last year. I'm kind of a young man to be retiring. Uh, yes, thank you, sir. <laughs> and then, so now that, uh, what were some of the things you enjoyed most about coaching? You said you worked with girls. What other uh, groups do you worked with? No, actually, I worked with boys. Okay, sorry. Yes, um, just teaching them the game, the fundamentals, and being the role models for them. You know, that's what I enjoyed the most. With some of the young men that we have out here, and then also we see young boys and girls and just everybody getting involved in sports, one of the things that's uh, is troubling sometimes is just keeping the maturity level, and we see it now with growing up and down the cycle's constantly changing. What are some tips and tricks as a businessman, as yourself, and a, as a coach, uh, and, and I'm going to call you a father whether you have children or not, because... Four boys. Whoa, four boys. Yes, sir. Okay, so we're going to call you a father anyway, and you've been a father to many children over the years. What are some tips that you could do to help with the discipline that's been going on uh, that's been troublesome over the years? Um, I just try to tell them, you know, this is their sanctuary right here. Every problem that they have leave outside the lines. When you come in here, this is your getaway. And then just play your game and don't let the crowd and them get into you. Because, you know, you have guys that sometimes they're on the court, they're arguing with fans in oh, the stands yeah. and stuff. And I tell them, just play your game, focus on your coaches and listen to the coaches and just play your game. So what's up coming up this season uh, with the uh, rest of this Warrior team? What, some more games and things? Or what's the next games after this one? The game, we have a game tomorrow here, and that's the finals uh, regular season. Okay. Then next weekend we go to Charlotte, North Carolina for the playoffs. Oh, man. So you ready for the playoffs? What are some of the challenges you think this team may or may not have to go through for the playoffs? Honestly, no challenges. We're ready. There you go. We're That's ready. The That's the spirit. Now, how can people get involved with your team, uh, support, come out, uh, find out more about the information, social media? Um, just look up the Hampton Roads Warriors uh, basketball online, and it has all our information out there. My, if you click on uh, the roster, my, my name's up there with my phone number. They can contact me. And um, we'll put them in the right direction. Amen. And uh, last quick question, sir. What's some future goals for yourself? Um, continuing general managing, or are you looking to go on to another opportunities, or what's your next goals after this? Uh, right now, I'm loving this spot. <laughs> I'm loving it, you know. Uh, just take this team to the next level in this league. You know, to set the example for the whole league. And not only for the league, but for our community as well. Out there doing community events and sponsoring things and stuff like that. What was your biggest example? I did a uh, clear question. What was your biggest example for you growing up? What gave you inspiration? Uh, actually, it was all the old heads on the basketball courts growing up because we played on the blacktop back uh, in the oh, day. Yeah, you outdoors. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, you know, they kept us in a straight line, you know. You had a good shot, jump shot? I did, I did. I, sh I was shooting threes before there was a three-point line. Oh, oh, come on, man. You don't got that much gray hair now. <laughs> I died. <laughs>
I thank you very much, Mr. McLeod, for your time. I appreciate it, and God bless you. We thank you for coming out, and God bless you as well. No problem.